Welcome back. Now we come to the dashboard. The first thing we're going to do is to go to this bottom left hand corner and we're going to click on the icon for our settings. We're then going to go first to our profile settings. And you're going to notice four tabs, overview, your settings tab, billing, extras, and integrations. And if you want to change anything about your basic information, this is where you are going to do it. You can also update notifications so that you receive notifications using your mobile device as well as your email. We're now going to go to the settings tab. We're then going to go to the details. These are details in terms of how you experience MailChimp in your account. One thing that you can do in MailChimp is manage any automatic replies. You can reject automatic replies to any of your campaigns and then save that here or you can leave this unticked. It is unticked by default. We're now going to go to the users tab. And if we want to give others access to our account in order to help us to manage it, we can do that here. You'll notice here that you can do this if you have a paid account. We're now going to look at the security tab. This is where you have control over two-factor authentication for your account. We're now going to look at contact information. It's here where we can update email addresses and anything pertaining to the email in our account. In the domains tab, it's here where you can authenticate a specific email domain. So if you're going to be emailing from a specific domain, you can enter that domain so that you can have it verified by MailChimp for use with your account. So for example, we can click in verify email domain and then write in a specific email address. We'll then click send verification email. We'll then have an email from MailChimp you can click to verify. And your domain will then be verified for use with your MailChimp account. Now, if you're going to be using your domain in order to work with the landing pages or the website builder inside of MailChimp, you can connect your domain here at this point. We're going to skip this step in this video. You can also manage the data that you have inside of MailChimp. And what you can do is you can export all of the data into a file so that you can use it in another platform or in some other capacity. And you can also pause and or delete your account. Your billing tab will have your billing plan, your history, and any credits that you might have. And you will need API keys when you're doing specific integrations. You can get them from the extras section. And finally, there's a tab for integrations. This is where you can find specific cloud-based integrations with MailChimp that you can use with your account. And typically when you click on one, all you need to do is to click the connect button. Okay, so with that, thanks and I will see you in another video.